the word though is a type of subordinating conjunction, similar to even though and although. In this video, I'll explain how to use the word though. This is similar to the words although or even though. But sometimes you can just use though. This is a voiced TH sound, and then the rest of this is just O. Oh, though. Though. I brought them a gift, though it wasn't necessary. So, this is something that I did, and there wasn't a reason to do it, but I did it anyway. Or you can change the order and put this first, though it wasn't necessary, and then you put a comma here if you start with this, though it wasn't necessary, and then you'd say, I brought them a gift. I'll give you what you need, though I want you to do me a favor. So this sounds like some kind of a condition for this. If this doesn't happen, this may or may not happen. Notice the contrast between these two sentences. I'll give you what you need, and then this is a type of conjunction. I want you to do me a favor. Or, I could stop here, I'll give you what you need, and then this can go at the end. I want you to do me a favor, though. It's common to put the word though at the end of a sentence, and sometimes you'll hear it, or you might not hear it, or if you do hear it, you'll wonder what this means. Though they are poor, they are happy. Or you can start with, they are happy, and then put this after. They are happy, though they're poor. So there's a contrast between this and this. The expectation might be that if you're poor, you're not happy. So this is a good way of expressing that these two things can happen at the same time. It's time to go to sleep. I'm not tired though. So here's a contrast. This is the time that you normally go to sleep, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, but the person is not tired. So there's a contrast between the time and the way that a person feels. Or you can start with though and say, though I'm not tired, and there's a comma after the word tired, it's time to go to sleep. Though she's only 14, and there's a comma, she's graduating from college. The expectation would be that a 14-year-old would not graduate from college yet. So there's that contrast between the age and what she can do or what she has done. Detroit is a major city in the United States, though it has fallen on hard times in the last few decades. Though this neighborhood is in the middle of the city, it looks nearly deserted. Though the houses that were once here have disappeared, Detroit is still a city with great potential. The houses in these neighborhoods look empty. People live in them, though.
Here are some words that look like though. They're completely different, except they have this O-U-G-H. So this is pronounced though. This is thought. There's a T here. This is through. There's an R here. And if you take out the H from though, then you get tough. And this G-H is pronounced as an F. Isn't that interesting?